We gonna ride, 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 ride till we fall. They say we got no, 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 no future at all. They wanna keep, keep, keep us out, can't hold us down anymore. We gonna ride, 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 ride till we fall. When we hit the bottom, nothing gon' stop us. Climb to the top, we feel cool. We could be the greatest ones who never made it. Yeah, I could be talking to you. Uh, my favorite high school memory was when Miss Clark sang the national anthem in front of our whole grade on assembly with no background music. Uh, my favorite high school memory would probably be me and, me and Julie got a detention from Mr. Orchard in year 8 and then we snuck out halfway. Um, mine would be when um, a couple of us went down to the Gold Coast for a day and then we was like we sat down on a rug and we had like strawberries and Nutella and we to be, so we had like a really fun day. Um, probably for just getting dressed up all nice for a night. When um, Mia and I toppled over like a brick. <laughs> me and Heather, after formal, we went downstairs and mum called me and she was like, I've got this green taxi book. And I was like, okay. And we ended up going across this bridge in like our full on gowns on the back of this green taxi. And the guy, yeah, which is like, one of those bikes and the guy his name was David and he was a good looking chap I think it was just meeting Emma Stop. and the rest of my group who you can't see the photo. They're, like, they're, they're like over there but they can't cute and I'm gonna miss them so much Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot to choose from, I'll be honest. Probably what we were talking about before, where like all of us just like meeting up together, yes. and, like the good times we've had. And then we've realized that we've had like so many good memories with our group, with everyone in the school, but there were so many more that we could have had. And like now I'm kind of regretting, like, oh, we should have done so much more throughout our years. But yeah. Probably ski trip. That was amazing. I'd have to say orienteering, falling into the creek. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 100%. That's the one that just pops straight into my head. Um, my favourite high school memory was probably formal. I'm um, dressing up and spending the night with these guys and we went to Pancake Manor after at the night and we were all very tired and hilarious but it was so much fun and just feeling really beautiful and confident and like no one could stop you. Oh, from this guy that was two years older when I was in year eight and we had a code main for it. it was two o'clock. Uh, my first high school crush would probably be young Leo in Titanic. Um, Shawn Mendes. <laughs> my first high school crush was in grade nine and it was Lois Byron. Um, I met him and it was a week long crush because a girl who used to be in the school made me hold hands with him. First high school crush was Jamie Russ. It wasn't a high school crush, but like it, it leaded from like primary school to high school. So like it's it's, 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 an, ah! it's an eternal crush. Is that a talent? I know. Oh my god, do you remember? <laughs> Joking, Jillian. Yeah, like Jillian. That's okay. That's better than mine. I wish it was Nick Bunting, Nick Bunting yeah. sorry, yeah. I wish it was Nick Broom over Nick Bunting then. <laughs> I reckon Zeus. The first time I come here, came here, yeah. It was honestly, like if we're being honest, hey. Yeah, I reckon it was Zeus. My first high school crush was probably either, probably Martin George's or Caleb Bailey. I don't know, I kind of liked him for a while. Uh, and I'm barefoot from our version. 
Um, mine would probably be either Mrs. Kroll or Mr. Weatherby. I have two. Mine would be Mr. Gooch and Mr. Ishmael because they're just so fun and they're just like, class of them is like really like funny and like very light hearted and so serious. Uh, probably Mrs. Richards and in grade 8, all her purple that she used to wear. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Mrs. Gooch still wears purple yeah. all the time. Yeah. Mr. Gooch, full shot. I 100% like, agree with him, yeah. but I also love the school. Oh, and Mr. McGill. Like, I love all my high school young high school the science teachers. Yeah. They're all so Except cool. For Mr. Don't add that in. Austin, easily. Okay. Can you put the first? Oh, yeah. I love or Mr. McGill. Or Ishmael. Mr. Ishmael is pretty awesome. Oh, I don't know. They're all yeah. like amazing. I'm um, definitely Mrs. Wakeford. She's an absolute babe. Love her. Miss Collins. My Miss cool. Gould. Mr. Healy, because it was a push over and we could get away with anything. Uh, maybe my math teacher, Mr. Riddles. My favourite teacher is probably <laughs> Mr. Cowpackadis. He's really cool and encouraging. Actually, no, Miss Bladen. Miss Bladen is really cool. But I have to leave for English class, sadly. But I've missed Pickles now, so it's fine. Hi! This is our beautiful prefect, Emily, uh -oh. and our beautiful and musical star. <laughs> they actually look so good. Oh, did you get yeah. They look so, so good. Look at the boys! Keep it on, keep it on going till we can't go no more. We're gonna ride, 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 ride till we fall. Yeah, when we hit the bottom, nothing gonna stop us. I see myself on a farm with lots of cows and a coffee bed. Um, I see myself with like a really cute little apartment and with lots of cute couples. <laughs> Hopefully our uni being a high school teacher probably. Probably in the biomedical industry, hopefully Ooh. be a vaccination. Um, I see myself driving my own ambulance. Yeah. Because <laughs> like we both want to be paramedics, so kind of, you know. Probably like, doing what I want to do, hopefully nursing, helping people out, or maybe overseas. Um, married. Married. <laughs> no, not yet. Not in the picture. Hey, 10, 10 years. 10 years. 10 years will be 30. 30. 30. 27. 28. You're going to be yeah, old. Yeah, probably. Yeah, married. Yeah, 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 married. Okay, I would want to be married in 10 years. Hopefully. Yeah, probably overseas, maybe going on a honeymoon. Oh. Who knows? Oh. <laughs> Pretty similar to that, except for nursing, I'm gonna do sports psychology with like some awesome team traveling with them or competing myself. I see myself owning my own restaurant. Um, hopefully, as um, a full time registered nurse. Yeah. At least in a relationship, maybe married. At least. Alright. Yeah, I would hope. Engaged. I'm, Good I'm definitely gonna be married by then. We could be married next year, you understand that, right? Ten years is a long time. I'm married, married next year. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely wanna have family. I'm definitely gonna have my house by then, car. I want a puppy. I'm definitely getting a puppy. <laughs> Baby or a puppy, it doesn't really matter. Just one. Um, really successful with a hot boyfriend. <laughs> and he's rich. Yeah. Um <laughs> with dogs on yes, the back. That's good. Um, in the next ten years. Hopefully, I see myself continuing YouTube. Um, I'd love to make that my career, and it's definitely something I'm going to have to work towards and work hard for. But I just hope that I'm really happy and content and have a husband and probably at least two kids or three kids by wow. then. So, got to get happening. <laughs> Graduation yeah. is probably Erica and Russell. <laughs> we have 
been teasing her about she got him. She <laughs> ran away. She ran away. <laughs> Um, I think she's like, we've been teasing Erica about him for quite a while and she doesn't admit it and we know it's going to happen someday. If they're like so cute though, like... Yeah, it's Erica and Ross. <laughs> yeah! No, it's way. not! It is! It is! It is! <laughs> it is. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Nothing. Katie and Henry. <laughs> Katie and Henry. How are you saying? I don't know. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. The right? Yes, definitely Grace Wright and Jake Wright because it just makes sense. Like her name is perfect and if she marries him, then like she won't ever have probably, to change her name. Um, my favourite memory was probably at youth one night when we were like hyping each other about getting fit and getting healthy and like living together or something like that. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Um, we went ice skating that one time and uh, I don't know explain it, there was like people in front of us who were like just knocking around and like the kid was on the ground, the mother was like standing and holding the kid's hand and everyone in the background was like really judgy faces and just started making a meme out of it. Yeah. It was great fun. I was at your house. And we started dancing around to that Waka Waka song, whatever it is. And then we started calling each other Katie Baby and Gracie Baby. I've known you since grade 9. Yeah. Even though we were only mutual friends. Yeah. Um, she left to go to friends. It was a grade 10. Yeah. And I didn't see her until she came back last year. Yeah. I'm right. And this year we were together in SUP class and we literally don't stop talking. Yeah. And especially in assembly and Katie claps really loudly <laughs> and it's really embarrassing. It was at your party. Yeah. It was so much fun. That at was party. fun. That was so good. And it was just a great time. Yeah. Since your party, I yeah. think was the best memory. Yeah. Well, Katie and I went to primary school together at when was that? Grade 5? Yeah. 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 And then um, grade 6, we started hanging out. And then we got to high school, started chilling. We went over to your house. Yes. Swimming. The yes. Yes. And then um, I tried spaghetti from a can in a cheese yeah, toast sandwich. Toast that, that was so good. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Um, just our little, hey? Like our little meetup. Shopping trips, pool party, you name it. Was laughing out, half out. Science, 100%. You pool party, I loved that. That was, yeah, that was a great day. When you started calling him Mort. Good times. I started calling him Mort because, like, <laughs> we play this game in our group sometimes and we're like, what animal would you be? And, like, <laughs> We will go around and say like what animal we think the other person would be, and like we just kind of saw Mort from Madagascar because you know like the hair, the like coloring. I don't know, and she's just got these like big, beautiful eyes. And Mort's just a little bit more freaky, but hers, hers are pretty. But that's you know the resemblance kind of. Um, yeah. Um, probably stick to your goal no matter what hardships you face because you get there in the end. Um, for me, it would probably be no matter what you do or what hardships come your way to believe in yourself and to always do what's best for you and to strive in life, I guess. Um, don't stress! <laughs> Yeah. I, I stress so much in high school and just I just take it easy. Yeah, like don't don't set timelines <laughs> unless it's for like an assignment. Maybe. But like don't set like a target and just like take every day as it comes. Hopefully, I'll be proud of me. Like then, be persistent and consistent. Um, enjoy life. Don't give up. Just keep going at it. Yeah. Just mostly like enjoy what you're doing as well. Just enjoy life. 
experience it. Yes. Make the most so, out of it. Exactly. Um, I hope you're happy and successful. Say hello from your past self. <laughs> <laughs> um, I hope that you're happy and feeling as confident as ever and that you're smashing life and yeah that you really stick to your faith and God's plan for your life. Alright guys, me and Mia have been sent to get the motivation jar from the spellers. Where are you going? That way. That way? To G-Block. <laughs> um, what is this? She just stopped in the middle of the What else are we getting? Colouring bits. Colouring in. Colouring in for our last day in the Beautiful, gorgeous. Give it to me. <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> Mia, are you so excited to graduate? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> That's all I've got to say. <laughs> so we're going back to class now. Mia's got her lolly jar. You <laughs> right. What's it got? I don't know. That's so weird. And yeah. That's what we're doing. We've got the colouring in box. Got the lollies. It's gonna be a great Last little. She's coming. Here she comes. With a big box. Lots of candle, candle jar.
school memory? Um, probably stick to your goal no matter what and no matter, no, no, okay. <laughs> um, uh, well, uh, I think. <laughs> you guys are great at this. Okay. Well, I Okay. Um. Bro, there's action on this one. I'll get it out. <laughs> For real. Yeah, I'll get it out. Move. Yeah, I'll get it out. Move. Move. Pool party, you name it. Oh my days. Yeah, that's the old redhead. <laughs> Might want to redo that. <laughs> no, I'm putting that in. <laughs> um, I don't oh, care. And my, no, I have the same thing. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 